Hello and welcome to this edition of Traders Talks. Today we are going to look at the Hitvision MVR 4.8 GUI 4.6 update. We aren't going to go through all the options in the menus during this video, just the extra functions available in the updated menu GUI and where to find them. The first menu option we're going to look at is Live View. In this option you're able to see current cameras installed on the device and change the view settings. The second option is playback. In this option you're able to select different cameras that have been set up on the device and playback recorded footage. You can playback normal recorded footage or event recorded footage. You can also select by a date and search by that date. The third menu option is file management. You can search video and picture recordings via different type of events i.e. motion, face capture, line crossing, intrusion etc. The smart search function enables you to be able to fill up the search criteria for face, human and vehicle capture recordings. You can fill up the search criteria using the intelligent analytics based on deep learning algorithms. You can also search in the vehicle smart search function by number plates recognised by an AMPR camera. The fourth option across the top of the screen is smart analysis. In this option you are able to set up face capture recognition, perimeter protection which includes line crossing, intrusion, region entrance and region exit. You are able to draw your detection area, set your arming schedule and create your linkage actions. Vehicle detection is mainly used with AMPR cameras to recognise car number plates. Video structuralisation provides the ability to extract the face picture, human body and vehicle features from live video which is used for the tracking and retrieval of human and vehicles. The sudden scene change option is the ability so that if someone attempts to change a camera's viewing direction an alarm notification will be triggered. The smart report option has the following settings people counting and heat map. People counting this option could be used by retailers to count the number of shoppers who enter a store. The heat map this function could also be used by retailers to see a colour coded map of the amount of time shoppers spend in a specific area of a store. The next option at the top is camera. In here you can see any cameras added to the system. The display settings you can set the OSD menu camera settings, the i.e. the display name, date, week, time format and individual camera settings. The privacy mask setting allows you to exclude certain areas of the camera from being recorded. The video parameter settings is where you would be able to set up stream recording settings for the main and the substream. You can set up stream types for video and audio to be captured or just video, set the resolution, the bit rate, the frame rate settings and also the encoding settings for the main and the substream for the cameras connected to the system. The storage op option is where you would set up 
either continuous or motion recordings. You also have the advanced option for setting up uh, to record audio. The storage device setting is where you would add, initialize and set up new hard drives into the device. You can also see the status of the hard drive on the device. The storage mode option is where you can set, out, set up hard disk drive, disk space quotas. The auto backup option enables you to set up an auto backup of the CCTV systems recording to an external eSATA hard disk drive. In the advanced option you can set the hard drive overwrite option and the hard drive sleeping options as well as other options. In the system settings you can set the HDMI VGA output resolution settings, set the time and date etc. In the user settings you can change the device admin password or add additional user access on the device. The network settings contain all the device network settings. The TCP IP settings are the connection settings that the device is using. You would also be able to enable DHCP to automatically get network settings from a network device. In the advanced options, there's the platform access. This is where you typically set up the HIC Connect connection, setting your verification code. In the event, normal event, this is where you will be able to set up motion detecting settings. You would draw your motion detection area, create an arming schedule and set your linkage action. Live view is where you can change the live view display settings for either the VGA or HDMI output. In the POS settings, HitVision POS solution connects cameras to TILs and can be used when the transaction takes place at a cash TIL and video capture is recorded by a camera. The audio management function has the ability to produce a voice prompt alert from a camera when an individual is detected not wearing a face mask. The normal and abnormal temperature setting. This is used when screening is ideally used for main entrances to a premises to screen people's skin temperature and play an audible warning from a camera. A deep mind MVR is required to use this function. In the maintenance settings, you can see the device info, i.e. the model, its serial number, the current firmware, any cameras set up on the device, current record settings that have been set up on the device, any alarm, network settings, hard drive status. The log information function, this is a useful tool when troubleshooting or setting up devices. You are available to search for different types of alarms or events or changes that take place on the system. The import and export option. In this setting you'd be able to export or import device configuration settings via a USB drive plugged into the device. The upgrade option gives you the option to be able to complete a device firmware update via a USB drive plugged locally into the device. The online automatic update option enables you to complete an automatic update of the device current firmware B1. 
the old version. In the default options, you're able to reset all factory settings and keep network and admin password settings or complete a full factory default of the device. Network settings, in this option you'll be able to run network statistics, troubleshooting or just see the statistics for network traffic on the device. In the screen encryption setting, this displays the screen encryption password which is used when, when created when using the enabling Hit Connect. In the address filter, this is a security feature that you can allow or forbid access to certain IP addresses if, if enabling this option. The double verification option enables you to enable double verification when people are trying to view the network cameras so it's just another security function. And in the buzzer options, this is where you'll be able to turn off the speaker in the unit from sounding. In the business application option, this is used when connecting third party IoT, Internet of Things devices, i.e. light bulbs, thermostat, to a HIC vision device, and you can set alert parameters. IoT in particular makes it possible to automate surveillance alerts and share them with other systems. Hikvision offers a secure and design approach to connecting multiple IoT devices. In the top right hand corner we have the download backup status. Any alarm notification alerts. The backup status of any recordings of footage to an eSATA external hard disk drive. And the final option in the top right is the power options where you're able to log out, shut down or reboot the device. Thanks for watching this video, hope you found it useful.